see what happens. Alright, I'm all buttoned up, everything's good, backrest is in, got the camera mounted, straight on the windshield. Yeah, I didn't really want to wear this jacket today, but something like a 20% chance of rain later this afternoon and if it does rain I don't want to be stuck out there without any rain coat. Things are starting to cool off here in the mountains. Colorado Rockies here, southwestern Colorado. There's Huge tiny little splotches of yellow leaves here and there. Nothing significant yet, but that's going to change in a big way in the next couple of weeks. So I have the X4 mounted on a, on a, like a selfie stick kind of arrangement off the handlebars. And uh, it was up pretty high, so I wanted to get it more in line with me. And as soon as I turn the corner up there, I'm going to shut the camera off again. Until we get to a little tangent that I want to ride out to today. And then we'll turn things back on again. I don't think we've had any frost yet, per se, but... Well, it's just around the corner, too. I did that last year. <laughs> That's I just was thinking about it last night. I watched a YouTube video where uh, a guy went through what he thought was a shallow pond and it was deeper than he thought. He got water in the edge. And at Hydrolock, Touchstone Canyon Recreation Area, we go Stanford, yay! And there's Motor Hydrolock. I start thinking about that, and when I was out there east of La Hunter, Colorado, when it rained on me really hard last summer, I was going through uh, an underpass and the water had collected and it was it was probably at least a couple feet deep and I didn't see it until I was in it and it was like I was riding a jet ski I was thinking about last night the hydrolock thing could have happened to me uh, I'm going to be more careful in the future and not put myself in that position when it's raining that hard I'm going to stop wait it out no matter what. 
these rock formations here are really beautiful. I love that stuff. Last time I rode through here, I saw a really big marmot. It probably had to be 40 pounds. That's pretty good size. I think I remember the rodent family. They look a little like beavers. I'm pretty sure it wasn't a beaver. But you never know, there's a little strain on the side here, on, on the side to my left here. This is always one of my best rides of the summer on the riding season. Came into the coach Topia either. Now uh, it's still summertime or after the the trees start turning. There's one with a little yellow on it right there. That won't be too much on there. Oh the yellow. On the other side of this canyon, when the road opens up and it flattens out, it can get a little windy in the uh, crosswind. That's always exciting. You ever had target fixation? That happened to me once. I don't know. I was in Colorado for the south for the last year. I'd been riding for a couple of hours in pretty much a straight line. And I wasn't even really going that fast. I was doing about 40. I came around this curve, and I just, I couldn't make the curve. I went into the opposite lane, and thank God nobody was coming the other way. But, uh, I'm sure that's what it was. Target fixation. I just, you don't even know what's happening to you until you're in it. So uh, I made a new rule for myself. Just I try to think like Wayne Gretzky. His deal was the greatest hockey player of all time, probably. And he used to say he tried to be where the puck was going to be, not where it was. So I'm trying to do that more now, I'm trying to focus on the road ahead and uh, put the bike ahead where I want it, and not looking at a particular road piece that I'm on at the time. Try to be the Wayne Gretzky or the Rockery Riders. That's hard to fixation, but still, you know, it's scary. And I think it can happen just about anybody. I just love this game. Oh, I was going to come out here earlier in the year. When I was thinking about it, the, the leaves, the aspens, hadn't come out yet. It's still pretty early. I like it better when it's green or when it's fall.
There's a thing you have to watch out for in this canyon. And there's another one. It's a uh, rock fall. You just never know when that is going to happen and come around a curve. There's so. See those clouds over there? <laughs> I can tell. Them. So I had to stop and get some gas before I got on this highway here and I put uh, 2.9 gallons in it was a little bit more than 10 bucks. So my friend, Craig Cooper, Rick Roy of the F6C Forum, we're just coming out of the canyon now by the way. They are, this week they're heading out on a run. And they're going to do the tail of the dragon. <laughs>